everybody welcome back to homestead heart and today's video is a little different today today is a special day for all of us it's a um it's really a day that we are all so grateful for today is the day that my beautiful grandmother my wonderful Medea gave birth to my mother. And this is my seventh time attempting to shoot this video since about 10 o'clock this morning. I've been trying to do this video and just haven't been able to get through it. So because it's difficult for me to talk about my mom without getting overly emotional. Because there has never been a time in my life where my mother has not been there for me. There has never been a time in my life that my mother has not been there for me. Even my children, there's never been a time that she hasn't been there for all of us. My siblings, family, cousins, even some of my friends, neighbors. My mom has that kind of heart and so is so sweet and um, so kind, patient. She's a warm person. Like she's really warm. You know, it's like to be around my mom is like, it's just to be at home. I don't care who you are. When you come around my mom, you can just relax. Cause you at home. You at my mama's house and you at home. And everything seems to be all right. Like no matter what you are going through, when you get around my mom, you're at home and you're at peace. It is really hard for me to talk about my mom because I think a lot on how blessed we are to have had a mother like her. God could not have given us a better mother. He knew exactly what he was doing. When he gave her to us as our mother. You know, I hope to someday be like her. I hope to someday be like my mom. I want to be like her. She has a big heart. She has a big heart. 
<laughs> Her spirit is infectious, okay? Because she's just, she's just a gentle soul. That doesn't mean that mama won't put you in your place. <laughs> That's not what that means at all. Because she will do it. <laughs> My mom is the kind of person that she doesn't forget anybody's birthday. And she would get all of us together. Even when we were young, she would get all of us together. And we would have to call whoever it was, whoever their birthday was. We would have to call them all. We have to call them. We would all be around the phone. And she would make us all sing happy birthday to whoever it was. I remember one year, we had to call a certain person. I'm not going to say who they are. <laughs> but I'm like, Mom, she don't call us and wish us a happy birthday. Get over here, Rita. <laughs> and you better sing loud, too. <laughs> Get over here and sing this song. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it don't matter who it is. She never forgets a birthday, and she always calls. And even if it's not a lot of people around to sing happy birthday, my mom will call, and she will sing happy birthday. <laughs> and my mom. That's just the way she is. She's always been that way, right? Always thinking and caring about other people. I have tried to do this video so many times that I have a headache. <laughs> I really thank God for our mother. You know, I remember once when I was growing up, I was about 12 years old or so. And my best friend and her four other siblings, it was five of them. There was two older than her and two younger than her. And um, she was in the middle, so. But they lived in a very abusive home. And they hid it for a while until it came out that their father had been physically abusing them and physically abusing their mother. And I just never forget it. We was at school one day. We were in gym. And she couldn't even take off her shirt to put on her gym shirt because it hurt her so bad to lift her arm. And when I kept asking her what was wrong, she would never tell me. And I said, I'll help you take your shirt off if your arm is hurting. Or just tell coach that you can't do it, you know. She's like, no, I'm gonna do it. So when I went over to help her, I lifted up the back of her shirt and her entire back was purple and black and blue because of the way their father had been beating them. And she begged me not to say anything. See, I'm saying this because this is the way, this is what my mother has put in me as a person. Because when I saw it, I called my mom. I told my mom when we went home, actually. I told her she was coming home with me. And her older sisters, all of them, they weren't going back home. They had already decided that they were running away and they were not going back after that because he had threatened to do more when they got in from school. So they weren't going back. They were running away and she was going to run away with them. And you coming with me. 
the older siblings went to their friend's house and she came home with me. And I told my mom what had happened and what had been happening. The sad part is that the family wouldn't get involved. They would, they just, they said they didn't want to get in the middle of all of that because their daddy was crazy. They wouldn't finna get in the middle of all of that. But the beauty of my mother is that she didn't care nothing about how crazy her daddy was. She wasn't concerned about her crazy daddy. My mother saw children that were in need of help. And the older two didn't want to come, but she came, my friend, and she stayed with us until all of that was able to be sorted out. And yes, Child Protective Services got involved and it was a big deal. It was a huge deal. But she stayed with us until it was all worked out. And my mom took care of her, just like she did me. My mom took care of her. We slept in my room. My mom became her mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, the heart that she has, I just want to be like her someday. I want to have that same compassion, that same love for others, that same concern, that same giving spirit that my mother has. She's so phenomenal. There isn't a person in our family that would disagree with anything that I'm saying. My mother is uh, <sighs> she's who I hope to become someday. Yeah. I've always been so proud of her for being that way, even when other people were not even when others could be sometimes mean or cruel. My mother never changed who she was. She stayed being herself. She ne never let anybody change her. I watched my mother struggle through so many things in life, but she always kept faith in God. And that was the greatest thing my mother ever did for me other than give birth to me. The greatest thing that she did was introduce me to God. And I know sometimes we go through things and like, Mom, I hope this is going to be okay. She says, it's going to be okay. You just have to pray. And you have to talk to God and and talk to him and he will help you. Well, how do you know, mom? Because he did it for me, baby. <laughs> My mom has been a rock for us. Yeah. <sighs> My mother has been a rock for us. There is nothing we wouldn't do for that woman. And I do mean there's nothing we wouldn't do for that woman. With all of the love that she has shown us. Nieces and nephews, they love their auntie. They love their auntie. Yeah. So I wanted to do this and I'm going to 
I'm going to introduce y'all to my mother in the near future. My mother is such a sweetheart. <laughs> but at the same time, you're going to do right. <laughs> you're not just going to do wrong and, and you don't hear from her, okay? <laughs> you're going to hear from her, you know? So, y'all help me wish my mother a happy birthday. It's her birthday and right now she is out in support of someone else who lost their son recently. And she's spending time today to be a comforter for them. And this is her all the time. This is her all the time. This is my mom. She's always concerned about somebody else. Always concerned about others. Have you called to check on so-and-so because you know they dealing with this? Have you spoken to so-and-so because you know this happened? So she don't just get involved with trying to help. She get all of us involved so that we can all be a support system for whoever. That's my mama. And one day I'm gonna be like her when I grow up. One day I'm gonna be like my mama. I thank God for my mother. I am so proud of her for who she is as a person. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. I was thinking about what my nephew said. He told, he told my sister, he told his mama, I know where we could get granny for her birthday. And she said, he said, she said, what? We can go to Southern Classic. <laughs> And we can get grandma some chicken. <laughs> Cause my mom loves Southern classic. <laughs> and my nephew, he young, y'all, he would. How old is Chris? Chris is old. Ooh, we I better not get this wrong. Six. Just a little fella. But so intelligent. We can go to Southern class. <laughs> you know, there's no amount of money that I could spend. There's no gift that I could buy. There are no words that I could say to even begin to express the love and gratitude that I have for my mother. Just thanking, thanking you, mom. Thank you, Mom, for always being our mother. You never put us last. You always put us first. Thanks, Mom. Not everyone is so fortunate. to have a really wonderful mother in their life. I had a friend, a good friend, who lost her mother when we were just in third grade. Not everybody is so fortunate to grow up and say their greatest gifts was their mother. I can say that God gave me a great gift when he gave me and us our mother. So I just want to say happy birthday to you, mom. I love you so much. 
from the depths of my heart and soul. I sure do thank you. Thank you for encouraging me to just be me. Thank you for making me feel good in my own skin. Thank you for letting me be free to express who I am as a person. I was always the different child, right? I was always different. I was an only child for a long time. And then the others came. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love all my sisters and brothers, right? But I was an only child for a long time. For how long? Let me see. About six years, I think I was the only child. Six, seven years, for a long time, I was an only child. <laughs> so you can imagine being a little spoiled, <laughs> you know. But I had a lot of cousins around me, too, that were near my age. And I was very different from everybody. And my mom used to tell me to be you. You can't be like anybody else. Be you. I used to have a ton of turtles. I, I mean, a lot of them. I, I would just start rescuing turtles. <laughs> you know, I don't care if it was on the side of the road. If my mom saw it, my grandmother, my grandfather, anybody saw it, really, you want that turtle? And literally would pull over on the highway especially my granddad, would pull her over, pull over on the highway and go across the highway to get a turtle for me, <laughs> you know? And I took good care of them. I had them for years, you know? And my mom made that okay. She made it okay for me to do that because animals was what I loved even as a child. I cannot think of a time when I would bring a pet home. Can I keep it? <laughs> and she didn't tell me no. She would say, are you going to take care of it? And I did. But she didn't tell me no. She never told me no. She used to say, you're going to have a zoo when you grow up. Little did she know it was going to be a farm. <laughs> Could have been a zoo, but little did she know it was going to be a farm because I've always, my whole life, loved animals. I used to, now I take it back. There is one animal that she told me I couldn't have. I used to want a capuchin, a monkey, right? <laughs> I used to want a monkey. If you don't know what a capuchin is, you can look it up, but it's a capuchin, a little monkey. And I used to beg for that monkey. I think I begged for that monkey for a couple of years in a row. And she's like, you're not getting a monkey. <laughs> you get no monkey. <laughs> a monkey in my house, you ain't getting no monkey. <laughs> that was the line. <laughs> so. <laughs> I can have cats, dogs, birds, turtles, whatever, but not a monkey. <laughs> so I couldn't get a monkey. Mm -mm. I couldn't get a monkey. I don't even want one now. <laughs> but um, yeah, I thank God for my mother. I really do, you know. So y'all help me wish my mother a happy birthday. All the love that you get, mom, you know you deserve. So happy birthday to you, mother. I love you so much. And I can't wait to see you real soon. But just thank you for being such a wonderful mom. 
I would not even, I don't know where I would be really if it hadn't been for you. I have no idea what kind of person I would be, what kind of life I would be living. I have no idea if it wasn't for you. Because you set me on a path that um, I'm just real happy you did. So thank you so much, Mom. Thank you so much for being you. And I love you for you. Someday I'm gonna be like you. I hope. I love you, Mom. <laughs>